Buju, Kim Blazer, Nindijinikaz, Anishinaabe Kwe, Nindao, Gawababi Bonikog, Nindunjaba, Migizi, Nindodem. I'm Kim Blazer. I'm Anishinaabe from the White Earth Nation of Northwestern Minnesota. I'm also the founding director of Indigenous Nations Poets. And I'm delighted to be here at the Library of Congress for the inaugural gathering with our first group of mentors at the tail end of the third term of Joy Hardzo's service as US Poet Laureate. It's an incredibly historic time. And I am eternally grateful that we were able to bring this astounding collection of indigenous poets from Guam and Hawaii and Alaska and everywhere in between to this space to claim this as indigenous space. I'm going to read my poem from Living Nations, Living Words. Poem on Disappearance. Beginning with our continent, draw 1491. Each mountain, compass point, indigenous. Trace trade routes, languages, seasonal migrations don't become attached. Yes, reshape by discovery, displacement. Move your pencil point quickly now, as if pursued, a cavalry of possession that erases homelands. We shrink, shrink in time lapse of colonial barter, disappear. Now draw a brown face painted for ceremony, half a face, Nothing. Draw nothing around a crumpled bird body, no wings. Draw emptiness inside desecrated burial mounds, a stretch of absence where fallopial tubes once curved in hope. Sketch void across Buffalo Prairie. Draw the empty of elk, of passenger pigeon, of silver trout. Conjure with your hand the shape of girl blooming. Curves of face, her laughing eyes, you seen them, postered and amber alerted, missing, missing, evening news, and gone. Draw a woman wrapped in a blanket, a child's body weighted. Draw stones sinking into every river on the map. Draw carrion blackening skies, carrion plucking vision from round brown faces. Draw missing, draw murdered. Work carefully now. Turn your hand to the new continent. Again, picture it. Nothing. What's happening now in indigenous poetry has been a long time in emerging. We have always had this tradition of song and poem and dance and all the arts merged. And it had for some time, especially ceremonial work gone underground. We are now in a period of resilience and reemergence and resurgence. And indigenous people are out proud and strong as they have always been, but they are now also being recognized across this country, which has always been theirs. And they are standing in their homelands and they are standing in cities like Washington, DC, and and they are bringing their words and their languages and their stories. And Indigenous Nations Poets is incredibly proud to be a part of that process. And we have this week 16 uh, meant, we, we have this week 16 fellows from various parts of the nation, including territories that are unrecognized by the US. And these young and emerging writers have incredible work 
and we're looking forward to the mark that they will make on our literary scene. And we've already begun to gather their writings and they are going to be here doing research in the Library of Congress and those new works will be emerging and, and available to the public. And it's going to be a period of time in which you will find all of that history, all of those stories, traditions, all of the things that we have maintained for centuries coming out in new voices, in new ways. And across the different technologies that are now available, you will still hear indigenous poets singing old songs. <laughs>